I'm High Hill Knight. Welcome to my channel. It is the morning of November 9th, 2016. Donald Trump has just been named the president elect of the United States of America. And I am very bewildered and baffled and surprised and astounded. And I mean, I always knew that there was a possibility that he could win. You know, unfortunately, it's a two party system. So someone has to win, someone has to lose. And despite his numerous and consistent complaints about the system being rigged against him, uh, there was a chance he would legitimately win, just as there was a chance that uh, he would legitimately lose. So the fact that uh, he won is not so much a problem. It's more in the case of he won this person, and I must emphasize this person. I have been against Mr. Trump, the candidate. I enjoyed Mr. Trump, the entertainer. I enjoy and I respect Mr. Trump as the businessman. But as the candidate, I was against him from day one because on day one, as you may recall, he said, when Mexico sends his people, they're not sending their best. They're bringing drugs, they're bringing crime, they're rapists, and some, I'd imagine, are good people. That was his day one. Oh, and you know what his, well, next to last days were? Well, two days before the election, his campaign suspended Trump from using Twitter. Now think about that. This is a presidential candidate, and his group took his Twitter privileges away. Do you know what kind of people get their Twitter privileges taken away? Children, okay? Children get their Twitter privileges taken away. A 70-year-old man should not get his Twitter privileges taken away. A potential president of the United States should not have his Twitter privileges taken away because his campaign people can't trust him to behave for two days on the internet. That's our 45th president of the United States. I expected the race to be very close down the wire, but I expected uh, Mrs. Clinton to pull out at, at the end. Uh, you know, all the evidence showed that she would win. All the polls said that it would be very close, but she would likely win. And considering the numerous antics month after month, week after week, to the point of almost day after day, where there was some controversial statement or tweet or video or audio or allegation would come up for both candidates, but much for uh, Mr. Trump. I think it comes down to two main factors, possibly third factor, but two, two main factors. Branding and timing. Branding in the sense of it's not so much that Trump won or even that the Republican Party won. It's more like Hillary Clinton lost. I've often said, and I still believe this, that despite Hillary Clinton's excellent uh, skills in politics, the people have been tired of her for a very long time. I mean, she's been around for many, many years. She was, you know, uh, first lady to a governor, and then first lady to a president, and then uh, a senator, and then secretary of state. All the while, the public knows that she has her eye on the presidency. And so it comes to the point where the people just don't want her because she's such an established brand. Even if she would be good for the job or decent for the job, the idea of, oh, this person again, we're so tired of this person, please let us choose someone else. That's probably one of the main reasons why uh, Barack Obama won his uh uh, campaign against Hillary Clinton when he was uh, going for the Democratic nomination. That's probably why Bernie Sanders was so popular. I mean, I knew nothing about Bernie Sanders, and all of a sudden, everyone's feeling the burn. And probably because he was a guy that people knew very little about, but it was just something different, something other than Mrs. Clinton again. You know, the, the public is tired of her, so they wind up voting against her. And there are many, many, many legitimate reasons to vote against Hillary Clinton. 
I'm not denying that. There are several legitimate reasons uh, to not support her as a candidate or as a person. But, you know, from my perspective and from many other perspectives, many experts' perspective, when the choice is a person who has been numerously accused of uh, sexist claims, racist claims, homophobic claims, xenophobic claims, who makes absurd promises like getting Mexico to pay for the wall. And make no mistake, you know, I'm quite sure there are several people, if they're still watching this, are thinking that uh, I'm just hating on Trump or anything like that, or the Republican Party or the Republican way, or I, I'm a Democrat uh, super sympathizer. No, 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 no. I mean, think about the Republican nominees, okay? Think about Ted Cruz. All right, Trump insulted Ted Cruz's father, making uh, claims that his father might have been involved in the assassination of President Kennedy because of a, a photo that happened uh, to, to surface, okay? Donald Trump insulted Ted Cruz's wife, all right? And yet, Ted Cruz had eventually come forward and, and support, publicly support Trump. Uh, you know, that's it's ridiculous. And think about all the surrogates that have come on the news programs again and again and again and again, defending one thing after the next, after the next, after the next that Trump says or does or tweets or posts or claims. Think about how uh, the President Bush's, uh, George H.W. and George W. Bush, didn't endorse Trump. Now, sure, there's a little bias because, you know, obviously they uh, uh, wanted to support Jeb Bush. But once Jeb was out of the picture, you know, pretty much all the other Republicans fell into line, but uh, they held out as long as possible. So when two former presidents who are of your party are not supporting the candidate, that should say something serious about that person's qualifications. Uh, on the slightly positive side, there will be a Republican uh, Congress, so whatever he wants to get done will likely get done. You know, you know but still, it's a pretty, uh, there's some big shoes to fill. So it's just bizarre that this person, Trump, not, you, know, not, you know, not a Republican, but the man who all the other nominees had to begrudgingly support. And some of them are flat out saying, no, I can't support him anymore because of one statement or tweet or post, okay? So that's what I mean by the Republican Party didn't really win either. And remember, he had to have his Twitter account uh, suspended because he couldn't be trusted. His own party couldn't trust a 70-year-old man, leader in business, possible president of the United States, to behave himself for two days on the internet. Yeah. Hillary Clinton bland must be so fundamentally terrible that uh, the people would uh, vote against her simply because they don't want her. Uh, along with branding and timing, sometimes uh, a character can come along that's clearly villainous, but that character's villainy grows in popularity. And you start rooting for the bad guy. Even though know, you know the person's evil, you start rooting for the bad guy. You root for Loki. You root for Scarface. You root for the Joker and Harley. I mean, how many times every Halloween there's a Joker costume, there's Harley Quinn costumes, there's a couple of the Joker Harley Quinn. I mean, they're murderers. They're thieves. They're in an incredibly a physically and emotionally abusive relationship, but still, you know, folks like to address it as the bad guy and support the bad guy. So, you know, we got the timing of the public wanting something other than Hillary, and then this person comes along who's clearly the bad guy, because not only is the Democratic Party saying things against them, there's the Republican divisiveness, that's saying things against them. And of course, there's the media that's saying things against them. And Trump, you know, played it all up. You know, everyone's against me. The whole thing's rigged. The media's against me. Well, you know, the media might not be so against you if you actually behave yourself for more than a week 
<laughs> oh, Mr. I need my Twitter privileges taken away because I need to be treated like a child. Because but anyway, think about the character of Vince McMahon. The character of Vince McMahon, he's cruel, he's manipulative, he uh, fights pretty much anyone that defies him. He fights against his own children. He has his own children fighting against each other. He fights against his son-in-law. He fights against his top talents. He, uh, you know, but still, when he comes out, people cheer. People uh, huzzah. What crazy thing is he going to do? What horrible uh, scheme does he have planned this time? Or is he going to be a nice guy, going to be a fun guy? What's going to happen with Mr. McMahon? Oh, it's going to be amazing. Let's watch. Or the characters like Ric Flair, the dirtiest player in the game, who has broken practically every rule, possibly breakable, in the, the world of professional wrestling, but people cheer for him crazy, even though they know he's a villainous. So you got Trump here, who, you know, everyone's saying, oh, he's bad, oh, he's misogynistic, oh, he's racist, oh, he's xenophobic, oh, he's a liar, oh, he's this, oh, he's that, oh, he's blah, 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 everyone's like, hey. Well, what's this crazy guy going to do? Or, oh, come on, he can't be that bad. Or, you know, this is entertaining. This is fun. This is amazing. This is going to be different. Yes, finding something different. I want something different. Let's get something different. And wind up electing a person who's very, very different. Very different. <sighs> Congratulations to Mr. Trump on becoming the president-elect and... While I am still <laughs> upset and disappointed, I definitely respect the political process and the electoral process, and the people certainly have spoken. So congratulations to you, congratulations to your campaign, congratulations to all the folks that have uh, uh, stayed with you through the whole time, like Rudy Giuliani and Kellyanne Conway, they all get to do a whole big I told you so, I told you so, I told you so. Enjoy those I told you so moments. You told us so, definitely. So enjoy it, enjoy it. Congratulations to all of you. Congratulations to Mr. Trump. Certainly, I will uh, hope for the best and see what happens with President Donald John Trump. Okay, well, thank you for watching. I'm High Hill Knight. Please leave whatever comments you want in below. Please be respectful. Like I said, I never had a problem with the Trump of the party. I was always against Donald Trump, the candidate, and I still respect the fact that he is the president-elect and will become the 45th president of the United States. All right? So please be respectful in the comments. All right. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, find inspiration everywhere. <laughs>